So this is the Chef Star Milk Frother. So um, those two little stirrers are extras, so it comes with three. Um, this is a nice accessory to pour it in if you want. And this is the actual device itself. So it, it heats up pretty fast, and on the outside it looks very big, but when you kind of look at it, it's not that tall. So it only goes to about that chef hat up to there. So it's about a mug full. The pros of this frother is, number one, it's stainless steel. So it looks really nice on your counter and it cleans well. It doesn't rust. It comes with two extra um, mixers so that if one of them breaks, um, you have another one on hand. It also um, has a non-stick coating inside, so it makes it really easy to clean out when you need to, which is every time after you make a cup of hot chocolate. So the other thing that it does is that it's super quiet. So the main cons of this are this, the stirrer, it's so hard to store and it's very hard to put back in and out and it could easily break but it hasn't broken yet because I think they made it very durable which is good so also um, it has to be hand washed and this can get very annoying at times because it's just in a rush and then you're not able to hand wash it so it can't be just rinsed out it has to actually be like scrubbed and also, it can only make one cup, so if you're making this for a very big event, we thought that it would be able to make a lot, but actually, in reality, it only makes a little bit. And then also, it only has two settings. It has a hot and a cold setting. So, if you really like it hot, it's not very possible, unless you run it again. So we're going to show you how to make some hot chocolate today. So first you're going to start by pouring the milk to max. Then you will simply just put in the stirrer. And then you will put the lid on and just press the button. And then it goes. Now we used whole milk and I made a perfect cup of hot chocolate. And it's really quiet. And you can start to see the steam coming up and it's pretty fast. So as you can see it makes the perfect hot cocoa and you just put two tablespoons and then mix it up. And we're going to be ready to make the froth. So now we're going to do the froth and you go on to the stir and then you put in the frother stir. And then um, that, what we've noticed is it makes perfect froth. It's incredible. It, it uses pretty much all the milk. And we see here, we just poured a little teeny bit of milk. And we notice that um, with a little bit of sugar, it tastes a lot better. So we just put a teaspoon of sugar. There we go. Look at it. It's getting thicker and thicker. Mmm. So now you put it in, and we prefer not to use metal because it can scratch it, just the type of material. And then you just put some hot cocoa uh, powder on it, and voila. So we got this product at a discount in return for an honest review.